My full name is Nazaya Armour, but I go by Nas, just N-A-Z. I do wrestling and I play football. I'm the captain of both teams. Going into fifth grade, I actually got bullied because going from Randolph to Brockton, it was a whole different atmosphere. So I had to just learn who I am and learn, okay, it's fine to be me. That's one big thing that Brockton has taught me. It's just taught me to be comfortable with who you are and know who you are. When I lived in Randolph, I wasn't allowed to play sports because my mom, she was like scared I'll get hurt and stuff like that. And then I see football and I was like, okay, I'm bigger than most kids. I just wanna, I wanna get out there and try it. So when I moved to Brockton, I got into um, one of the youth programs. We weren't good. We lost every game and all my three years, we only won one game. I just kept grinding. And when I got to high school, I guess just kept trying to learn. It came from wanting to be good at something, honestly. Because when I was younger, I was just like, I was just a big kid. I sweat like really easily and I just felt like sloppy. And then I just wanted something that I'm, that I'm good at. My biggest leap was had to have been from freshman year to sophomore year. Freshman year, I, my asthma was killing me. Like I couldn't breathe on the field. I always needed my inhaler and everything. So I decided to do wrestling. That's how I got into wrestling. Nobody else really did it. Everybody started to like weed out and I was the only one who really stayed. So when I did it, I, my record was like four and 30. And I was like, nah, I don't want to lose again. So sophomore year, I ended up placing one of the top in the States. Because throughout, all throughout like the summertime, I was just grinding, doing three practices a day. So then my record sophomore year was like 35 and two. Coming from my background and coming from like where I stand, I didn't think things like this exist, but it's like a breathing point. It's like something you could like vent out to. You can work on yourself instead of just being, okay, focus, always focus on your school, your grades your athletics and all that, you have people that you can actually talk to. Tim has been a real big help for me because honestly coming into this program, I was depressed because I lost, I lost everything I felt like. Once COVID hit, I lost my four pack that I worked so hard to gain. I lost, like I put on like 60 pounds. I was 220 weight class and then I rose up to 300 pounds. He really was a big help to me. So then at the start of football season, I was three something three something and like right now I'm feeling a lot better I'm doing like two practices a day I'm going to the gym more often and I'm feeling a lot better and more confident in my own body the first thing like when I get in the room with Tim it's not like okay no it's time to get time to get to work no the first thing he's asked me is how are you doing how have you been I think that's really important and like that was my decision on picking a school my decision didn't come from D1 D2 D3 it didn't come from NFL it didn't come from any of that my decision came from how do y'all like think about me, me as a person, not just as an athlete? Because I'm one of those persons where it's not, it's never really all about me. So then the major thing I'm definitely taking it from this is the mentoring. Being a captain and stuff, that's something you kind of got to learn. It, people learn in different ways, but you got to learn it. I learned it from, let's say my siblings and teaching them, look, I did some things that I shouldn't have done and here's how you fix it. And there's some things that I did right and you should follow in that footsteps.